Hey everybody and welcome back, not to another episode of Kickstarter Crap, but to a new series that's called Kickstarter Cool. We're going to look at a project that's very cool, because you guys have been wanting me to look at a project that's cool for a very long time. I'll get comments like, hey iDubs, why don't, why don't you look at a good project every now and again? Hey iDubs, why don't you do Kickstarter Gold, where you look at a project that's actually really good? Well, you know what? That's fair is fair. I'll be very equitable. Today we're going to look at a very good project, okay? This project is called Odin, the world's first projection mouse. Let's dig right in. We are a group of engineers specialized in optical electric. We have been doing this for over 10 years. It is my pleasure to introduce the laser projection mouse. It is the built product under our own brand. The first reason why I back this project is because it looks like a Decepticon. I really like Transformers, the TV series and movie, so obviously I'm going to like this product as well. Odin is the god of war in Norse mythology. When Odin brandishes a spear in his hand, Flashes of lightning strike the land of mankind. We cast aside the existing appearance and limitations of a traditional computer mouse and design the world's first laser projection mouse. Oh my gosh, this mouse is so cool. I mean, look, just look at it. You know, a normal mouse, it's bigger, it's bulky, you could hardly move it around. This is like a trackpad, but anywhere you want it to be. It could be on gravel, it could be on concrete, it could be on your bed, it could be anywhere and it's work perfectly fine no matter where you put it. And it's a, tr it's a trackpad. Trackpads are so much better than mice. So much better. Have you ever used a, ma a traditional mouse with, with a laser at the bottom? Have you ever used that? Yeah. <laughs> suck. Massive amounts of suck. Are you kidding me? I would rather suck dick than, than use one of those things. The cutting edge Odin detects reflection signals with infrared sensors instead of traditional cameras so that Odin can have a higher resolution. This makes our laser projection mouse suitable for designers, office workers, or video gamers. Wow. Did you guys just hear that? He said not only is it good for designers, not only is it good for office workers, but it's excellent for video gamers. I don't know if you guys have ever played video games before, but using a traditional gaming mouse is the dumbest thing ever. It's slow, it's monotonous, I have to keep on like dragging the mouse to get to like the, to, to the area I want to shoot in my first person shooter, I have to keep going, eh, 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 eh. there's a bunch of buttons all over, it gets me all confused and bewildered, but with a, with a, with a projection mouse, you just got your hand baby, you just got your hand, flip, 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 dead, three people I just killed in the blink of an eye. Call of Duty, Counter-Strike, counter, counter meet your maker, the Odin. Odin not only breaks through traditional limitations, but is also lightweight and can be easily stored. Just plug it in and you'll be able to use Odin anywhere, anytime. No way. No freaking way. The Odin is portable. It's more portable than a mouse, arguably. A regular mouse? Like three times the size of the Odin, three times the size. Can you believe that? I almost can't. They've packed, they've cram packed so much technology in the Odin, you wouldn't believe it. And how, how do they get it into a, a, a dime size like they do? I don't know how they do it. It's incredible. A triangle, innovative and extraordinary in runic alphabets, is also incorporated in the virtual pad design, projecting strength and courage into our life. Can any other project say that about their product? Yeah, I think not. The Odin is going to put strength into your life. Can you say that about uh, the Razor Hydra? Yeah, right. Yeah, right. You have to hold on to a couple mechanical doohickeys. Do you guys struggle with carpal tunnel syndrome like I do? Well, you can say sayonara, sucker, because the Odin has your back. It completely eliminates carpal tunnel syndrome by allowing your hand to be kind of flat, but maybe with a little bit of a curve in it, depending on how you hold your hand. A normal mouse, look what it does to your hand. It, it props up your, 
your wrist, like, by, by a factor of at least 10. And uh, that is what completely uh, targets in, in your... It targets right there and right there, which is the worst culprits for car carpet tunnels syndrome. With a normal mouse, you're moving your hand around, and it's like, ah, ah, fuck, shit, oh god, I need to see the, I need to see the proctologist. Oh god, I think it's traveled to my asshole. Now let's try that same thing, but with the Odin. Oh. I just killed 48 Battlestar Galacticas. Yeah, but, but you could, could, couldn't do that with a traditional gaming mouse. Another thing that possessed me to back this project is the fact that it is so cheap. $49? Dude, you can't buy a gaming mouse for that much. You can't. Physically impossible. They have so many components in it, it's ridiculous. They put all these unnecessary buttons all over it, and by the time you, you're done paying for it, you're, you're, you're out of pocket 200 bucks, probably. This thing speaks for itself, you guys. Look at the amount of actions that the Odin can perform, okay? It has twice the actions of any mouse that you're going to find, and has three times the amount of actions from any trackpad that you'll find, okay? I mean, look at this thing. You could two-finger swipe to scroll down pages. You, can, you could two-finger swipe up to scroll up the page, even. A lot of you dillweeds are going to come out of the woodwork saying shit like, well, I have buttons on my gaming mouse that allow me to change the sensitivity, and I could go back and forward on a web page by just clicking two buttons on my mouse. Ugh, ugh. I have a scroll wheel on my mouse that I could click, and I could free scroll it. Yeah, yeah, big deal, okay? Like, anyone who, like, I don't like the convenience of being able to click one button to change my sensitivity, to change my DPI. Why would I want that? Okay? I want one speed, okay? One speed, then you get used to it, and then it's, and then it becomes second nature, okay? Why would you want to change the speed on your mouse? That's insane. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for this episode of Kickstarter Cool. I think the Odin is a great product that you guys should support. I'll put the link down below so you can input a lot of dollar bills, y'all. Remember to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and remember to tune in next time when I eradicate e-beggars. What a fucking terrible video, terrible idea, terrible person, terrible Kickstarter. Jesus Christ. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? Hey guys, I want to get a fucking... I want to get a dick enlargement. Go, go fund me. Go fuck yourself, my life. Goddamn dumbass. The amount of money that she's asking for the butt procedure is $20,000. I did the math when I eradicate e-beggars. Be beggars. I kind of... I didn't say that very well. E-beggars. When I eradicate e-beggars. When I inseminate e-beggars. Does that sound better? I don't want to inseminate e-beggars. I don't want to create uh, another hell spawn. Because I'm close to be being an e-beggar, right? I don't e-beg. I beg for views. But that doesn't cost you any money, really. Uh, I mean, maybe. Ancillarily. Tertiarily. It could cost you money, possibly.